prior we took our programming skills to a whole new level where we learned all about if then statements. In this video, you will learn how to use Array to spawn all the dogs at random location and it is up to the player to use their full throwing ability to feed those animals and at the end you will be amazed how far these skills will take you. First, we are going to create an empty and then we're going to call that empty game manager okay and then we're going to assign a game manager script to our empty so we're going to create a script and call it game manager okay so haven't created the script i'm going to select the empty called game manager and then assigned the game manager script to it okay so this time around i'm going to double click so now that we have it open, I'm going to declare an array. So declaring an array is a bit different from the way you declare your variables. So I'm going to come here and type public game objects. Okay, let's call it animal prefabs. Now we're going to add a square bracket. So now this defines with open and close square bracket. Now this tells us that this tells the program that this is actually an array. Okay. So now I'm going to hit save and head back to Unity. So now I'm going to select the game manager and immediately you can see our array animal prefabs. But currently it is empty. So remember we have six dogs in our scene. So I'll just come here and add the number six. Okay, so there you have it, all um, uh, the array in according to their index from zero to five. So this is um, six dogs. So I'll come here and drag this. So this is going to serve as reference to the dog that we have in the scene. So the fifth, so we're going to add it. All right, so having done that, we're going to go back to our code all right so this is where we left off the last time so we're going to create a custom function so um, from the beginning we've always used either voice start or void update now we're going to learn how to create our own um, methods okay so to declare a method is very simple so we're going to declare um, our void so let me just call the function starting with a capital with an uppercase I'll call it spawn, maybe spawn dogs. Okay, so that will be the name of our function. So you can choose to give it any name, but ensure you use a conventional name. So now that we have declared our function, I'm going to go right inside the block and then we're going to start by um, declaring our index. Okay, so I'll call it animal index array used uses index so we're going to call this animal index and then i'm going to use the random um, class so with the dot operator i'm going to call one of the method in this class so in this case i'm going to use the range method so within so within the bracket i'm going to start with zero so the index is going to start with zero and then it's going to stop at five okay so that covers the entire animal so the index starts from zero so remember we didn't start from one we're actually starting from zero so this is six in number so that covers the entire dogs so now that we can actually um, spawn our animals in random so we're going to declare um, the position so this time around i'm going to use vector three so vector three and then i'm going to call it spawn position okay so i'm going to write new vector three and then right inside we're going to um because we're actually spawning at at the x axis and then let's let's let me take you back to unity okay so we're actually spawning the animal um, around this position on the x-axis okay so we have to be mindful of um, the position so we don't want it to exceed this 
point so we just want it to spawn from around this position so it shouldn't be anywhere around here or here so we have to be mindful so this is on the x axis and then this is actually on the z axis okay so we don't want it to spawn around this position so we want it to be around here so we are going to do something here so i'm going to select this so you can see the position on the x axis let's give it let's make it spawn at um let's say 13 so this is going to spawn at 13 so 13 to minus 13. so this one right here so i'm going to select this dog so i'm going to say i'm going to start from i'm going to let me select this and then you can see i want it to stop at minus 13 so minus 13 okay so now on the z axis so i want it to spawn from this position so let's see um at about um let's say 16 or 15. so now going back to our code okay so for the x axis we're going to use the the random dot range random dot range okay so we're going to go with minus um for minus 13 and 13 so remember how we actually define it there so on the y-axis we don't want anything to happen so we'll just make it zero on the z-axis so remember we're going to spawn it at 16. so we are done with our spawn positions so now i'm going to come so now I'm going to instantiate the dogs. Prior, I introduced you to the instance instantiate. So it's going to start with um, the name of um, our reference. Okay, so this is it here, animal prefab. So remember, it is an array. So we're going to go animal prefabs. Okay, so remember, we're going to use the square bracket and i'm going to um and insert the animal index okay so this is from zero to six so i'm going to come right here so the next parameter this um instantiate function takes is the position so i'm going to just type in spawn position so remember what we did earlier so spawn position so now i'm going to come in here and still go with animal prefabs okay so this time around i'm going to use the animal index okay and then we're going to come in here and then we add the dot dot transform dot rotation so this is all the parameter that um, the instantiates function takes so now we are done so the next thing we're going to do we're going to call this function in start okay so we're going to go to start and then call the function using invoke repeating okay so invoke repeating act more or less like a callback function or more like a core routine so this is more advanced um, aspect that we're looking at in more later video so you don't have to worry yourself for now so um, we're going to be using invoke repeating to call this function in the start method okay so the invoke repeating takes um, a string value so it's going to take the name of this doc control c without this um, um, open and close brackets just the name so the time that is going to start so it's going to start after two seconds meaning is going to spawn this animal after two seconds so as soon as um, this method is called the animal will be spawned immediately it is two seconds and then subsequently um, it's going to go back to um, let's say 1.5 seconds okay so there so there you have it i'm going to um, save our work i remember we've attached this script to the game manager but then let's confirm that it's actually on the game manager 
okay so there you have it so now i'm going to hit um play so we're going to see that in action so you can see it's currently spawning okay so you can see what's happening missing game object missing game object so if you remember what we did earlier you should be able to fix this so let's see how we can actually fix fix that so remember um, this particular error um, it says the object of type game object has been destroyed but you're still trying to assess it i am sure you should be able to fix this bug so now what we need to do you remember i dragged all the all this dog into this array so we are supposed to drag from the prefab that we have here rather than dragging from the hierarchy so i'm going to replace all that with what we have here so i actually did that deliberately to see um, this particular box so you know how to fix it so we're going to fix it by dragging all the dog from the prefab so now we're going to hit play so our dog is going to spawn endlessly but remember it's going to get destroyed the moment it passed a certain threshold or the bounding box so you can see we no longer have that particular issue so our, our dog is spawning at the right position that we want so i um, can move the animal the, i can move our player you can see what is happening so this is exactly how i want it i can um throw the food but at the moment it's doing nothing because we haven't um and we haven't enabled that functionality okay so you can see all that so let's quickly fix some um uh, the hard coded value in our code before we wrap up okay so now you can see we have a lot of hard coded value so i'm going to come right here so for for this instead of five we're going to use animal prefabs so animal prefabs dot length is ideal instead of using um, a hard coded value so now we're going to change this um, hard coded value to a variable so i'm going to come right here and then we're going to use um public let's use private since we know the exact value that we're using so we're going to use private int um x range x range position so i'm going to use 13 and then on the z axis as, as well public z range position i'm going to use um 16 okay so we're going to replace all this hard coded value with our variable so x range position so remember we have a negative here so take note so x range position as well so i'm going to come here i'm going to use z range position okay so that is all we um have to do here so i'm going to hit save this time around now that we have done all that so let's try and see what we have okay so you can see our dogs they are still spawning at the right position okay so our code is running just fine so that's all i have for you in this video so i'll see you guys in the next video